everyone now we are going to discuss about what quality issues under the subject of environmental and agriculture unit 1 environmental concern past few decades the increase in population and advance made in farming technology has increased the demand for crop and livestock from the agriculture industry this growth in agriculture production has resulted in an increase in contaminants polluting soil and waterways so under uh, agriculture water pollution any undesirable change in physical chemical biological quality of water due to agriculture sources it's detrimental to human and agriculture too so according to food and agriculture organization 58 percentage of all water pollution is alone from agriculture so here we're going to discuss about causes its cause through it discharge of pollutant and sediment to surface and groundwater through net loss of soil by poor agriculture practice and through salinization and water logging of irrigated land so here uh, we have a two sources of agriculture water pollutant number one point source from a single discharge point number two non point source to more diffuse landscape level causes so number one we'll going to discuss about point source so it's pollution refers to contaminants that enter a waterway from a single identifiable source such as a pipe or ditch number 2 non point source of pollution is it's arise from a broad group of human activities from which the pollutant have no obvious point of entry into receiving water courses it's called as diffuse sources of agriculture water pollution so here we are seeing non point sources from urban street rural how crop land animal fed and also a factory and non point sources from suburban development area here the point sources from waste water treatment plant alone and pesticides so here we need to discuss about the pesticides leaching so it's occur when pesticides mix with water and move through the soil ultimately contaminating ground water so also we are go- we need to discuss fertilizers so leaching runoff and eutrophication the nitrogen and phosphorus applied to agriculture land via synthetic fertilizer composites manure biosolids etc it can provide vulnerable plant nutrient so here we are we are seeing eutrophic lake so the bottom silt sand or clay bottom may be under the lake so here i nutrient level will be there poor light penetration will be there low dissolved oxygen and shallow water high algae growth carp bullhead and catfish may develop so on the the other pollutant is heavy metal it's a major input of heavy metal is lead cadmium arsenic and mercury into agriculture system or fertilizers organic waste such as manure and industrial by product wastes so here in the picture we are seeing the transpiration from plant surface precipitation evaporation from land and water source like river so from precipitation uh, we have some water to infiltrating to the ground water table recharging so the two impacts are there in agriculture 
water quality number one surface water and ground water so in agriculture impact on water quality first we need to discuss tillage so sediment carry phosphorus and pesticides also absorbs to sediment plant and also siltation of river bed on loss of habit spawning ground etc so second is fertilizer so fertilizer it also impact from surface it will uh, damage to surface water as well as ground water so in the pic we are seeing the tillage and fertilizer so now third manure spreading so here this manure spreading also causes two type of water pollution one is surface water and number two is ground water pollution so surface water carries out a fertilizer activity spreads on frozen ground result nitrogen in high level of contaminant of receiving water by pathogens and metals so fourth one is irrigation so here also the two type of irrigation surface water irrigation and ground water irrigation so it may be the run off of salt leading to salinization surface water run off of fertilizer and pesticides to surface water with ecological damage uh, in fish species etc high level of trace elements such as silicon can occur with serious ecological damage and potential human health impact so irrigation may be surface and ground water we already seen so here we need to discuss about the health impact in public so contamination of water supplies primarily by pesticides and fertilizers so this is outbreak may occur microbiological contamination of food crops and contamination of food crops with toxic chemicals too and there are two ecological impacts are there major decline and ex- extinction of animal fish and vegetation species number two impact of ecological is destruction of major ecosystem so the solution we need to discuss two solution one is um, nutrient management and other one is cover crop so nutrient management applying fertilizer in the proper amount at the right time of year is very most important for the crops and another one is cover crop means plant planting certain grasses grains and clovers can help keep nutrient out of the out of the water by recycling excess new nitrogen and reducing soil erosions so and third is buffers and fourth one is conservating tillage is most important for the uh, um, quality of uh, keeping water quality and finally drainage water management reduce nutrient loads that drain from agriculture field help prevent degradation of the water in local streams and lakes so hope we have some knowledge about water quality issues thank you